Hey you guys, what is up? It's your girl Shanae and I'm back today with my daughter Kylie going to do another braided tutorial for you with school being around the corner. I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this easy peasy braided mohawk style so you guys keep watching. So starting off what I did, I went ahead and parted Kylie here into six sections, two in the back, two on the side, two in the front. And then they're just three on each side. And I like to go ahead and keep my her hair part in sections. That way I can um, be neat when I'm doing my braids. So I'm taking down the first section in the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and comb that through and begin to part. So I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning off her hair. And then I'm going to start braiding that up. So as you can see, I'm placing and taking out a little piece to start the braid. And I'm just going to go ahead and just start braiding that up into a mohawk. And I'm just using some 100% um, calculine here. I actually use expressions, but you guys can use any type of braid hair that you desire. But I like using expressions better because it just blends with her hair as far as the texture is concerned. It blends in really, really nice with her hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and braid that up. Now don't too much worry about braiding to the ends because we're going to cut some of it off and then just braid it into one big ponytail. So just make sure that you braid as much as you need to braid, but definitely braid all the hair up on her scalp. So as you can see now, I'm just braiding that hair on up in the back. Now moving into the middle section, I'm going to go ahead and start a braid in this section as well. And I really don't have a particular braid pattern in mind. I just typically just braid whatever my comb parts. But you can do any type of design that you want. Um, but I'm just, I guess, braiding with my comb parts. Just trying to braid all that up. Now I'm moving to the front, I'm just going to go ahead and braid that up on the side. I could have went ahead and braided it in the front and braided it towards the center, but I wanted to um, do it on the side instead so it can look more like a mohawk. But once again, you can braid the pattern however you desire. But I'm just braiding her hair up on the side so this full side will be completed. And this is my last braid, so I'm just going to go ahead and section out a small piece in the front to use that to start the braid off. And then I'm going to just go ahead and take that hair and braid the last braid. I be anticipating that braid because, guys, me and Kylie, we fight all the time when it comes to doing her hair. That's why braids are her best friend and my best friend, too. Once you're finished braiding all the braids to the scalp, you're going to go ahead and gather all the hair in the center and just braid one big braid up the center. And as you guys can see, I'm taking all that extra hair. Like I told you guys, I didn't braid it to the ends. I'm going to go ahead and make one big braid all the way up. So here I'm just taking the excess and I'm taking a needle and thread. I'm just going to go ahead and just sew the extra down. That way I won't have to worry about, you know, that extra long piece sticking out. I just want to go ahead and keep it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and just sew all of that down. So now I'm taking the A Free Natural Kids Crochet Water Wave hair in the color 1B. And this is like $5 at your local beauty supply store along with the crochet needle. I'm going to begin to crochet in the hair into Kylie's braid. 
So what you want to do is stick the needle through the braid, pull it through, going to open up the little circular opening, pull the ends through the circle and just loop it to the braid. So pull it tight to the braid. And by doing that, it's going to go ahead and secure the hair in place. That way you don't have to worry about the hair sliding out. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start crocheting this right away from the bottom of her hair working up to the top. And y'all that curl is just so gorgeous and it has so much body. And I love the body and the density and the fullness that it portrays. It's very, very pretty. So as you guys can see, I'm just working my way from the bottom and now I'm up to the top. Just looping the hair through the braids itself and pulling them tight. And we're almost finished. Y'all, Kylie looks so miserable. Like, mama, is you done? I'm ready to get up. Is you done now? When I tell y'all we fight all the time, y'all, we fight all the time when it comes to doing her hair. But it is worth it. So this is the finished look and I love how it came out. I love how versatile it is. You can actually style it any way you want. So right now I have it up in a bun with some in the back and it's obvious that Kylie <laughs> is obvious she likes it now, now that we're done. But this is a gorgeous look especially to go back to school and especially since school is starting and is around a corner. If you guys like this hair tutorial and want to see more braided hair tutorials for little girls, definitely make sure to thumbs up this video comment subscribe and share and until next time i'll see all of you beautiful dows and jits in my next video peace out y'all y'all be easy